So you were being victimized in, in a multitude of ways. As a law enforcement officer, when you were going through what you were going through and then having to go into work on a daily basis, were you more reflective on your attitude towards victims? I became much more of a victim-focused investigator, I think. You know, as law enforcement officers, we have to know Miranda and Terry v. Ohio and, you know, due process, Fourth Amendment, search and seizure. We're very, very focused on making sure our officers don't violate suspects' rights. And it's, it's rare that there is a large focus on victim-focused policing. And I brought something new to the table. But I, I remember the exact case where it, the way I approached people and the way I policed changed because I felt I had to fit a mold and a box and I had to be a little bit more standoffish or stoic as a police officer. Like you're, there's this professionalism that's preached to us as far as not crossing lines. And the most vulnerable aspect of our job is when we interact with victims and it should be. And humanity was never a part of policing like it is now, which I love. It's really evolved. So for me, the way it changed was I realized that I could discuss who I was personally in a professional setting and it was okay. And that they weren't allowed to tell me I couldn't if it helped somebody.